Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about what happened at this Puerto Rico Pro 2022 and more so about what Hassan Mustafa brought to this stage. So as you can see right here, he's in the middle of this callout, the top four. Uh, he's battling against Tio, and uh, who is going to win this show? It's probably gonna be Hassan, but by a close margin, I would say. And a lot of people expected Hassan to be like the top six Mr. Olympia material once he gets shredded, but I don't think that's the case, not really. You can't really see that in this video, but I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, other photos and some high quality videos as well. So take a look at this. Tio on the right, Hassan on the left, and as far as the conditioning, they are pretty close overall, but the glutes. Tio definitely brought harder glutes, and I'm not saying that Hassan's glutes are not in, his glutes are also pretty much in condition, but uh, Tio's glutes are just really sharp. And as far as the back itself, I like I like Tio better in this pose. I mean, I think he has uh, thicker traps and uh, just better V-taper, better flow of this entire physique, uh, of this entire pose, actually. And uh, yeah, I have him winning this pose, but that's gonna be probably it as far as the other poses. I think Hassan has him. And I think the main reason why Hassan is gonna win this show is gonna be his quads. His quads are just that much better than Tio's. He's dwarfing him in that area. Everything else... It's kind of close, you're gonna see in a second, but why I'm telling you this is because everybody kind of expected, not everybody, but many people expected Hassan to be like top 6 material when he gets shredded, finally, for once. And he did that, but does he look like a top 6 material? I mean guys, that's Nick Walker, that's Hunter Labrada, that's William Bonek, I don't think Hassan has a chance against Ian Valier, who is 7th. So for him, cracking the top 10 of the Mr. Olympia is going to be a large success. So honestly, I am a little disappointed with uh, Hassan's look. He did come conditioned, but it's not really what I expected. I was looking at these kind of photos where he doesn't look conditioned, but he looks full as a house, he looks round, he looks so complete, so massive, and I thought once he gets conditioned, this is going to be like Mr. Olympia winning physique, but uh, no. Real quick guys, I want to introduce to you the Vintage Blast, product by the Old School Labs. It is a pre-workout, but it's not just another caffeine and stimulants based pre-workout. It is, It has stimulants and caffeine, just enough, just a proper amount, and has a lot of pump, focus, endurance ingredients. So it is a great pre-workout, and also it tastes really good. You have a bunch of flavors. You can pick your favorite flavor or you can try them all, but if you want to support me and my channel, click on the link in the description of this video and use the code EVEN for a 12% discount. Trust me guys, one of the best free workouts on the market. And so he did get conditioned, but not as conditioned as I expected based on his Instagram videos and photos. Um, you know, I thought, based on the way he looked in those gym shots, I thought his body fat percent would be really low, as Ronnie Coleman would say, negative numbers, minus two or something like that. But no, that didn't happen. I mean, he came conditioned, but nothing too crazy. Probably as conditioned as any other pro show winner. And he lost some size. I don't think this is just uh, being flat. I think he lost some tissue. I think he lost some volume to the muscle. You can see it especially in his neck, trap, upper chest area. He used to look like a freaking bull in that area, now not that much, and overall his entire body looks a little bit thinner than before, quite a bit actually, and in this pose I would expect him to be like better than Big Ramy, but this guy Tio is really pushing him actually, because of the size also, because Hassan is not the tallest guy, I mean he's pretty short, he's like a 212 competitor, only he's not 212, I heard that he's 236, so he's not exactly super massive, not now, I think he was much heavier before, but now when he lost uh, all this fat, he lost uh, a lot of muscle too, so he downsized a little, does it look better than before, I think so, yeah, yeah, still it looks better, but, you know, not as impressive as I thought. Also, he did get really conditioned, but you can see that he doesn't have like crazy, crazy separation, crazy lines. You know what Nick Walker's squats are looking like when he is conditioned. There is basically lines and details everywhere. On his midsection, on his quads, on his chest, everywhere. But Hassan, you can see that he is lean, you can see that his skin is very thin, but just genetically, there aren't that many details. He looks a little bit... I guess I would use the word blurred, but it's not just that, it's not like uh, the subcutaneous water or anything like that, he just simply doesn't have that kind of muscle, 
as you can see his quads he has a lot of muscle in that outer part but in the middle and uh, in, the, in the inner part there are no details also his midsection you could say the same thing about his chest shoulders uh, arms everywhere basically he's not super detailed as you can hear, as you can notice, I am a little bit disappointed. And if you watch my previous videos, you know I expected a lot from Hassan. Maybe I'm too harsh because my expectations were so high. So I gotta say, he definitely brought his absolute best. This is definitely overall the best package. Yes, he lost some size, but at least he came in condition. He came ready, finally. As you can see, his back is showing a lot of details. His glutes are definitely his trouble area. And everybody has one and if he went further and if he pushed his body more to get even those glutes conditioned completely he would probably make the 212 weight so he didn't want to go that far uh, because of only glutes i mean he was conditioned from the front and now before this show happened i watched Fuad Abiyad's podcast and they were talking about Hassan and they were talking can he like be top 6 olympian if he gets peeled now and guys had different opinions, uh, Fuad thought one thing, Nick and Ian had a different opinion, I'm gonna show that to you in a second, but before that, let's admire this uh, most muscular right here, he really brought conditioning, as you can see, especially in these most muscular shots, he was shredded. So my question then is this, if Hassan is shredded, do his narrow clavicles hold him back? Or does he crush everybody? Look, it's, he's going to be better if he's peeled, but no, he's not going to all of a sudden be a top six Olympia guy. I think it's a lot of posing. I think also his like midsection, kind of how everything ties together, that plus the narrow clavicles don't help. I also don't think he's insanely detailed, you know? I see, know. this This is where I see the structural inadequacies, like the waist and how the lats kind of just like bubble out a little strangely. There's not a lot of taper to it, you know? I can't imagine if this is like crisp and detailed. And shredded how it's gonna look while i was watching this i felt the same way as Fuad. i thought maybe ian doesn't want to admit that another guy can be top six which means beating him but apparently i gotta give it to ian he was right about this as he says he notices some structural inadequacies and uh, even though he got shredded ian also said this in a podcast we never saw Hassan shredded so we can't really be sure what he's gonna look like when he gets peeled but now we can see that that he's not exactly a top six olympia material not this year at least so he did get shredded he definitely brought the best conditioning ever i applaud him for that that's what we were waiting for and he definitely did look the best ever and he's going to win this show and he's going to get to the mr olympia stage but maybe we had at least i did have uh, big expectations from this guy i thought it might be top six mr olympia material but not really to be top six he needs to beat nick walker hunter labrada william bonak and in my opinion william bonak looked better than hunter and nick both at this arnold classic and it was basically his comeback so i expect uh, william bonak to beat both of those guys can i expect Hassan to beat uh, to beat nick or hunter no can i expect him to beat ian i don't think so and there are other guys who might make a leap this year. So again, top 10 for Hassan this year would be a huge success. But hey, this is just a start. He finally figured out the conditioning. Now if he can come bigger, fuller with the same conditioning, that's going to be even better. So we'll see what's going to happen until the Mr. Olympia. Let's wait for the finals and see what's going to happen at this show. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident he won it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be different. No, no, it's, it's pretty clear. Like it was basically yesterday at Monster Zim Pro Show, which was won by Mohamed. The guy in the middle, obviously, I think anybody who doesn't follow bodybuilding, when they would look at this photo, they would see that he's the clear winner because of this crazy conditioning. Sang Cho Lee, even though he is from South Korea, he did not uh, win this show, he was second. And Sibo Sisokotelo, he did not really make a redemption as we all uh, were hoping for. I mean, he picked one of the one of the weakest uh, lineups, one of the weakest shows, and still he was third. I think it was the conditioning. I think he needs to get more conditioned, I mean, especially from, from the back. I mean, everywhere, basically, but especially those glutes. Uh, he still has a couple of shows left, I think like five or six, maybe even more shows before the Mr. Olympia, so... He might get the Olympic qualification. I mean, he has the mass. It's going to be just uh, the matter of uh, getting conditioned and peaking right. We'll see what's going to happen. Anyways, it's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.